So this thing uh, can currently carry um, a go in it, go.mod, it's like a go mod in it, it has nothing in it. And what I have here is this file. So the file name basics TSV, it's a it's a text file that is a that comes from IMDB. It's it's their dump of all the people, they call it names, all the names um, that they have in the system. And it has quite a bit of names in it. Uh, the job that I have carry um, a whole bunch of names. So this is what we got. Um, 11 million names. Each one has an ID, uh, name, all kinds of data. It's, it's interesting to see that they have a primary profession and known for titles, which are strings, but are effectively um, an array. It's a field of type array, and um, uh, that that's there is there is also another table for titles and a table for um, connecting typo like a, this many to many table from uh, names to to titles. Um, but it looks like there is a little bit of uh, denormalization here. So each one of the, of the people have a known for title, which is probably the top things they're known for. And I, I would bet that something very similar to this is what powers the actual MDB website. When when you go to IMDB and you see a, uh, when you go to a name or a person, there is a section that is known for titles and probably they want to avoid the join there. So, or the, the extra lookup. They will join to titles, but they wouldn't need the extra lookup through, um, through the many to many table. So you know, there's that. Uh, so we'll explore all these good things, but we'll start very, very simple. So the first thing I want to do before I'm going to even start exploring, instead of needing to do head every time, um, because at least at the beginning, the size of the, of the file doesn't really matter. I'm going to, uh, I'm going to do this. I'm going to, um, take the top, let's say 100 names. I'm going to put them in a short dot name, a six. TSV that would help. Um, that would help because uh, the original file is uh, 646 megabytes, uh, but now I have a file which is only about 10k, so it's going to be easier to to play around with. Uh, now, because of lately, I'm going to be using an ID, so there we go. Um, I've been switching writing Go on Vim and on IDs, and I, I really like IntelliJ uh, for Java and, and Writer for C Sharp and GoLand for for Go. So I'm just gonna gonna be using that. So let's create a little little file. I'll be very creative, calling it main. Main. Let's see that we got something. So print. So just start with this. Um, let's run this. And we have hello. Woo, that's a good start. Um, so now what we want to do is to say, let's say that the query we want to run is select star from names. Limit one. Actually, what we're going to do is we're going to select M, M. Um, but that's the key, right? So they call it N const. When in, in the IMDb name, names are keyed with M. N const, const, say beta titles are T const or something like that. So we're going to select N const from names limit one. So that should bring us the first one, the first ID in the list, right? So that's the query that we want to run. What we expect is, um, let's say we'll have n con would be something, and we expect const is going to be this. That's what we want to have. Now, how do we do this? Let's uh, execute the query. And uh, 
And what we're going to do is return ID. Okay, let's run this. And what we get here is that it's working and we're done. Um, this is a database, but of course that's not, that's not how it works. What we really want to do is to read from files. So file name is um, port names basics PSV, right? And the file is going to be file and some error. For now, we're going to skip error, uh, error handling altogether. We'll figure this out later. Um, OS open file name. And now skip headers. So, or okay, I'm going to create a reader. So, reader is going to be buff io new reader of well, this this buff io reader just let me read it line by line it's um that's a nice helper so we're going to skip the header so um that's an r dot read line which gives me a line his prefix and error so line prefix error we don't care about any of that because we just want to skip the the headers now we're going to read the first line so line and we don't care about this and we don't care about the error right now it's going to be read the second line now we know it's tsv so uh field one is going to be um strings split line b right split tab and this is the byte array, so we need to cast it a string. And now that we have the fields as this, and we're going to return fields zero. Now, a lot of shortcuts here. First of all, no error checking for sure. Um, we're just taking the first one. How do we know that the end const is the first field? We don't know it yet, but eventually we need to have some sort of metadata on the table that tells us the first field is field of type string its name is nconst and uh, it is the primary key for this thing so all, all, the, all of this stuff uh, is you know we we'll need to eventually enrich the system and make it all work this way okay save go formats to the right place gonna run it and we got nothing because it's broken for some reason now let's figure out why this thing is broken probably maybe it's the wrong file name or something if you're not nil um and I can do a W here. Um, here, and then I don't know. Let's save this minus one, and we'll add another check here. Add another check here. That's the the dark side of. Writing stuff and go, yep, no such file or directory. So short names basics TSV. The name is short dot name basics TSV. Yep. Let's fix the name. And again, the metadata would also tell us that names is stored in this file when it will be having metadata in running. Okay, so now now we want to now we have it. The first thing is NMO1. We can also see it here. Uh, right, the the first one was nm 0001 That was for the stair. That's pretty cool. We have a database. We can do we can do a limit one. We can get the first thing out of a file that's already been sorted. We cannot. We didn't do any sorts. We didn't do any any where's. That sounds a little bit a little bit numb. So let's do this. Um, we'll have we'll add an argument. So instead of this, I want to select and cons from names where and const equals and some argument uh, let's do this oh and we'll, we'll use this as a marker so at um and const so how do we know what the, the who requested and so the and const uh, arg is going to be os args 
one. Now we're going to pass this as an argument. So passing in the query and we're passing in the uh, argument string. Whatever. Now we need to for each one of these just make sure this is the right one. So for each one of the lines, instead of doing this, what we're going to do is for there is not end of file. We're going to read a line, read the fields, and if fields zero is arg, we return arg. Or even better, if, why why do we want to return the ID? Let's return. I know it doesn't matter here, but let's return the primary name, which our secretive metadata knows it's actually fields one. So now, if we we scan for the file, if we find that an ID that which is what we asked for, then we return the thing. Otherwise, we're going to return for now a special value, which is not found. We didn't find anything throughout this. So let's save. And now I'm going to try to run this. It's going to fail because we didn't pass in the arg. So let's go to the terminal. Oh, I've, seen, I've been on the terminal the whole time. Ah, sorry. Let's go back to the ID and show you what I did. So what I did is this. I took the... Uh, I, I added this read arg from from the um, from the invocation, we're going to pass in an ID, which is going to be used here in the where clause where n cons equals the argument n cons select primary name. Of course, we're not doing, we're not parsing, we're not, we're ignoring this altogether, but because um, we'll deal with parsing and all this stuff later. But uh, n cons is going to execute the query, passing in the argument that we requested. Uh, what we're doing with this, instead of just after skipping the headers, um, instead of just reading the next line, we're going to read all the lines until either we hit an end of file or um, or we found the ID that equals the thing, and then we return the first field. Now, we kind of magically know that field 0 is n cons, and field 1 is primary name. Um, and if we didn't find anything, we're going to return the string not found, which is also, I mean, that's not great. Uh, we should we should have a better way to say how many how many rows did we find and and whether we found something at all or not. Um, okay, so now let's go go run it from here because I want to pass in arguments. So I'm going to go back to the terminal and it's just easier to do it this way. So go run main go and I'm going to ask for the ID um, nm one two three four five six one. Right, so we found that for the stair, that was pretty easy because the first one, let's make sure it still works. Let's ask for number two, it's Lauren Call. Let's ask for number 10, James Cagney. Now it's pretty quick because we're going one by one. Um, so let's time this thing. Right, so this thing is like very, very quick, right? But what happens if we look like for something that don't exist? It would go through the whole system. Wow. Right, so this went through like everything all the way, and it was pretty quick, right? Oh, it got all the way to the uh, at the end of file it takes it with their two three five. So let's go back to the ID and not break at the end. That's why I didn't say not found in a nice array. Um, go back to the ID and we say okay, we keep reading it. If here is not null, we're gonna we're gonna really really if here is not null. And here is not item in the file. That's going to be a little bit nicer in our case. Because end of file is an expected error, not an unexpected error. So we don't need to, to do the OS exit minus one. Okay, so in this case, what we got is going through everything. Uh, why is it so slow? Huh. Got something here happening. Okay, why is it not stopping? 
So it's trying to read line. If it failed, it was an error. That was not in the file. Oh, but if it wasn't the file, then it was doing this. Okay. So if it is, and if it is EOF here, then we need to skip out. So here, here's I have a really weird thing. Okay. Yep. So this was still pretty fast. And it's interesting how fast it is to run through through this, right? But the thing is, it, it was very fast because it was going over this small file. Now let's go and change it to use the large file. So I'm gonna um, I'm gonna go back to here and gonna, let's do the the large file the names.basics.tsv. I'm saving it, going back to the terminal. Now in the terminal, I'm gonna run this with. This guy is still going to be fast because it's up at the beginning. Let's try to run something that we cannot find. It's going to go over the whole file. And then at the end, it's going to tell me not found. So it took 1.37 seconds. Now, 1.37 seconds on a file of 11 million entries is pretty slow. Um, right? Because that's that's not that's not a, that's not quickly enough. And remember that we're not doing much. We're only reading a string, cutting it on the on the T and then comparing strings, but we're not doing any other stuff. Like we're not reading all of the information. We're not um, trying to do any joins. We're not doing any parsing of numbers or trying to validate enums or or you know, doing anything anything fancy. If we were doing more stuff per row, that thing would, would take ages. Um, and in, in, in database terms, like 1.37 seconds to fail a lookup is ages already um, for such a so it's not it's not tiny but it's pretty small table so uh, we will think about how to solve this how to make this um, o of n lookup for ideas to be you know something more manageable and quicker and something that we can build upon when we'll be doing you know more stuff in the future because just imagine that you're trying to join some other table with this table. Now, for every step of the joins, you need to load something from this table. It's going to take a second for each load. That's going to be super, super slow. If we're trying to join, I don't know, 100 things with that, that's 100 seconds. Um, so we need a lot of optimizations. And uh, uh, we'll start to do some of those uh, on our next visit. So um, thank you so much. What I'm going to do right now before I'm shutting this down is to um, get in it and I'm gonna get status I'm gonna get add um, let's add the whole thing with the uh, with the data as well why not get add Uh, well, actually, now it's adding all the 600 megabytes. That was probably not a great idea. Probably don't want the large file there. Yeah, probably do not want the large file there. Um, all right, let's get in it. Um, so, mod, add mango. Get add name. Oops. Add short. Basically, SV. Status. Yeah, that's better. Get commit. M. Initio. Three. Um, table scan. And something wrong. Yeah, that's better. Okay, so we got this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put it somewhere. Uh, uh, probably on GitHub, and then we'll be able to, um, you know, go along with this. And each time I'm gonna record an episode, I'm just gonna update it. So, yeah, um, thank you so much for listening or not. 
and we'll see you next time or not.